I would describe Polite Society as an action comedy about sisterhood. Um, you know, the main protagonist is Rhea Khan, who's a wannabe stunt woman slash schoolgirl, and she really loves and idolizes her older sister, Lena, who is a, an artist. And the story kind of all kicks off when Lena sort of gives up on her dreams to become an artist and decides to get married. And it's sort of how younger sister Rhea, you know, tries to stop that, thinking it's the worst thing in the world. And yeah, and the film is filled with action scenes, heists, crazy over the top violence and fun and comedy. So, you know, again, it was a chance for me to mix all the films I grew up on, the Jackie Chan movies, the Bollywood movies, and just sort of mash it into a sort of wild film about sisterhood, really. I knew I wanted to make a film that was about two sisters and that kind of really foregrounds this sister love story in a way because I just don't think we really get to see that um, a lot in films. Um, and you know, it was drawn a lot from my own relationship with my sister, you know, such a close and intimate and loving relationship. But then, you know, when you fight with your siblings, that kind of fighting can be the most brutal. Um, so there was so much, I think, so much fertile ground there to like tell a story. And yeah, you see the two sisters at the beginning and they have the best friendship you could imagine. And you know, over the course of the film, that friendship is really kind of pulled apart. Polite Society is an action comedy that focuses on two sisters. Um, you know, it follows a teenage girl, Rhea Khan, um, as she tries to break up her sis older sister's sort of semi-arranged marriage. And she does that by performing elaborate heists and getting into a kind of crazy kung fu fight. So it's again like an over the top comedy that really focuses on sisterhood and yeah, friendship. Ritu Arya is one of my favorite actors to work with. I've worked with her quite a few times already and she's just really mercurial. She she has so much depth as a performer. She can she can like hold so much in such small expressions. Um, and she's also just quite punk. And I really wanted Lena to have this sort of edgy alternative feeling, which I think Ritu just totally encapsulates. You know, Ritu's a drummer um, in a band and she's kind of one of the coolest people I know. So it was a sort of, no, it was a no brainer to cast Ritu as Lena. Ritu and Priya just got on like a house on fire. Um, yeah, their relationship was just sealed so quickly. Just watching them in rehearsals, just mess around and have fun. Like, I totally believe them as sisters and that was just so exciting to see. Priya Kansara, who plays Rhea, was like the most exciting actor to have sort of walked in, um, you know, for a long time. I didn't think we, we would ever find a Rhea and we wouldn't be able to make the film. And I think when Priya came in, she just, you know, is so captivating and I'd not seen of her or heard of her before and I, I realized she'd only just recently given up her day job to pursue acting and it's honestly it's been like such a delight to work with her and like not only is she just so hugely talented you know she's 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 a movie star the way sort of she she's when you film her she kind of lights up the screen it's just incredible and she's also just the kindest most generous person to work with like the way she she lifts the entire crew when she walks on set and and you know it's just the kind of person that you you know will go far based on their like incredible skill as an actor but also just as a colleague like to the whole crew she was just so kind and so generous so like she's the ultimate movie star in my opinion i'm like you're the next tom cruise priya because also she did all her own stunts as well or most of her own stunts Serafina and Ella play um, Clara and Alba in the film. And again, we did a lot of chemistry tests um, when we were auditioning the actors to see, you know, w to find this sort of friendship group. And so yeah, Serafina, Ella and Priya um, were amazing in the room. They had such amazing chemistry. And I was like, okay, this is the gang. Because you know, they are the comedy heart of the film. The action in the film um, really for me represents kind of what it feels like to be a teenage girl, you know, how it can feel so painful and violent when you're having fights at school, when you're fighting with your sister, it has a real kind of visceral feeling. So we wanted to show that with fight sequences. Um, 
so that's what was so exciting, you know, especially with the first fight, for example, where it's like these two schoolgirls really cussing each other out whilst also punching each other. It's sort of that wanting to show the kind of small violences whilst using sort of big kind of over the top action. Nimra is like a dream to work with. She is like a captivating performer, totally embodied the character and a joy to just watch. She's, you know, kind of classically trained Pakistani actor and we all felt like we were in the presence of royalty because she just has this, this kind of aura around her, but is the kindest, funniest, silliest person you could ever meet. It's so important to me for our crew and our team to reflect not only the people that, you know, who make up our society, but who are, who are in the story. So having a kind of a diverse representation was really important to me. Um, and you know, I've been very lucky in the work I've made. I've got to find the people who I collaborate well with, who whose creativity just like really lifts up my own work. Um, so, you know, that's production designer, Simon Walker, PC Williams, costume designer, Ashley, DOP. Like I've found like such great crew who've really elevated the work in a way that I couldn't have done on my own. And then, you know, casting director Aisha Bywaters who found, you know, found the cast. There's so many people involved in making the film what it is. Um, and I've been lucky because I've worked in the industry long enough now to have had the opportunity to work with different people and to really find who I work well with and who whose collaboration I really value. It's important to me to show a South Asian family in this way um, because it's sort of been my experience. And again, it, so much of what excites me is those nuances, it's the small moments between the family. You know, we had a this is such a like small example, like the family are having dinner around the table and then we're talking like, what are the family eating? I'm like, they could eat pasta. Like, you know, this whole thing, shouldn't they be eating a curry? I'm like, no, I mean, they don't need to. Like, we'll eat pasta. It's sort of like weird stuff like that that comes up that you're like, oh wow, this is still a, a thing. Um, and, but you know, it's so exciting, you know, and the, the final act is like a big kind of Bollywood inspired kind of set piece at the wedding. It's like really over the top and really kind of showcasing the beauty of the culture, you know, South Asian culture, as well as showing them, you know, when she's at school, she's dressed in her school uniform, which is sort of, you know, British. And then just the mixing of the cultures and the different layers, it's just so exciting to see it. Audiences should definitely watch it on the big screen if they can, because uh, that's how we conceived it you know, for it to be a spectacle. Um, and again, you know, all the films that inspired me, all the Jackie Chan movies, all the Bollywood films, all the kind of crazy wild action, I wanted it to be enjoyable for the audiences. I wanted it to be like a fun ride. And that's why I just think, you know, going to the cinema, grabbing your popcorn, going with your friends, it's like the perfect way to, to see the film because it's how it was intended. Um, and yeah, it's, it's sort of a fun ride and that's what I hope audiences can take away. I hope audiences can enjoy the story and the spectacle and the fun of the film, um, but also, you know, centering the film around two South Asian sisters and it being about their love story and their sisterhood is just something, again, that we don't really get to see and not with this genre. So it's just getting to sort of foreground something that you don't usually get to see is quite exciting to me and I hope audiences kind of, yeah, are inspired by it.